Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi will be shortly arriving in Nepal for a two-day state visit at the invitation of Nepalese Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli. This is PM Modi's third visit to Nepal. PM Modi left for Nepal's Janakpur today from Delhi airport. He will be arriving at a key pilgrimage spot in Janakpur in Nepal, which is regarded as the birthplace of Hindu goddess Sita. He will visit the Janak Janaki temple in Janakpur and then attend a civic reception. He will also deliver a public speech where he is expected to announce a bus service from Janakpur to Ayodhya, the birthplace of Ram, which has considerable political significance for the BJP. With this bus inauguration, Nepal will be connected with Lord Rama's birthplace Ayodhya in India, thereby completing the Ramayan circuit. Before PM's arrival in Nepal, the country's media seems to be fascinated by PM Modi's visit. Almost all the Nepal newspapers today carried maximum coverage on PM Modi's Nepal visit. This is part of Modi's efforts to strengthen India-Nepal cultural ties. Later in the day, PM Modi will depart for Kathmandu, where he will hold bilateral talks with his Nepalese counterpart before leaving for Nepal. Prime Minister Narendra Modi described his two-day visit to Nepal as a reflection of his government's commitment to neighbourhood first policy. He said his visit reflects the high priority which he personally attaches to India's age-old close and friendly ties with Nepal. And to bring us more details on this new story, I'm joined in by our correspondent Siddhant Sibal, who's reporting live from Kathmandu. Let's quickly go across to Siddhant. Siddhant, what can we expect from PM Modi's uh, two-day visit in Nepal? This is indeed a part of their neighborhood uh, first policy. Elaborate more on his itinerary and how, what is the importance and relevance of the neighborhood, policy, uh, neighborhood first policy for India? Well, Akanksha, a lot of things are going to happen in just about one hour's time. The Indian Prime Minister will be landing in Janakpur and it is a two-day uh, visit, but uh, a packed schedule and uh, focus will be on faith. Faith diplomacy is the main focus because he will be visiting three cities, Janakpur, Kathmandu and Muktinath. In Janakpur, he will be visiting the Janki Devi Temple. In Kathmandu, where I am standing, he will be visiting Pashupati Nath Temple and in Mukti Nath, he will be going to the Shiv Temple, uh, which of course is a very important pilgrimage site for Hindus and Buddhists. In Janakpur, he will be along with the Nepal's Prime Minister flagging of a bus service between Janakpur and Ayodhya. Well, Janakpur and Ayodhya will be connected, which has a very symbolic message also because uh, both are birthplace of Hindu gods, uh, uh, Devi Sita and uh, Lord Ram. And these two cities will be connected and Janakpur will be part of the Ramayana circuit. India and Nepal are also working on the Buddhist circuit. Uh, in Kathmandu, Pashupati Nath will be one of the main focus. Uh, remember, this is the second visit of the Indian Prime Minister. During his maiden and first visit after taking charge in 2014, he came to Nepal and visited that temple. So clearly that is one of the main focus. So clearly both the countries are focusing on people to people contact and uh, uh, faith as a thing that is common to both the countries. But other than that focus will be on infrastructure and connectivity. On infrastructure front uh, uh, where I am standing in Kathmandu there will be a press statement uh, after 6 p.m. local time. Uh, in the press statement there will be a launch of uh, uh, Arun 3 project. That's the largest hydropower right. project here in Nepal. Both the Prime Ministers will be launching. Other than that, uh, the focus will be on connectivity. Two parts on that. Uh, India will be constructing a railway line from uh, Kathmandu to Raksol. That will link Kathmandu Valley with the rest of the Indian railway network. And inland waterways, uh, Kosi River will be the focus. Uh, uh, a team from India will be coming and doing a feasibility study on that. All right. Uh, Siddhant, Clearly, it's very apparent now that uh, PM Modi is, of course, working along uh, with uh, Nepal's Prime Minister Oli to improve relations between India and, and Nepal. But let's not, uh, you know, overlook the fact that Chinese presence in Nepal is a growing concern for India. And how will India address that? Talk about your purse, since you're already there in Kathmandu. What's been your observation like of the Chinese presence in Nepal? 
Well, when the Indian Prime Minister comes here on a two-day visit, China, of course, will overshadow this visit. This visit comes after the big summit between the Indian Prime Minister and the Chinese President in Wuhan. China, of course, is increasing its engagement with Kathmandu. Uh, we walked around the city of Kathmandu and you can see a lot of visible presence of China here. A lot of signboards in China in one of its main business area. A lot of uh, Chinese businesses, you can even get a Chinese SIM card. Uh, a lot of uh, Nepali people are going to China and this is what is increasing the engagement. No longer the Himalayas are the physical barrier between Nepal and China. China has also announced a lot of connectivity plans uh, to uh, even southern uh, Nepal. Uh, India also has its own connectivity plans, but remember China has uh, uh, talked about a connectivity plan between China, Nepal and India. India has actually rejected it, saying it would rather pursue its own uh, uh, connectivity plans with Nepal and it's a smart move also because uh, if there is a connectivity plan direct passing through Nepal it can open China China to India directly and flood the Indian markets with cheap Chinese products. that is something that uh, is is some uh, worry uh, the Indian policymakers are worried about but China remains the elephant when it comes to India Nepal ties and this is what uh, is, is driving the, both the countries closer also at least New Delhi closer to Kathmandu and this is what this trip is all about right. uh, the visit comes just one month after the Nepal's Prime Minister visited uh, India and this is a follow-up visit basically